Number 10, it's not an eyelash. Imagine reaching up to get an eyelash out of your eye only to realize it's a worm. This situation happened to 28-year-old Abby Beckley from Grants Pass, Oregon in August of 2016. The girl had grown up on a ranch surrounded by all sorts of animals. She enjoyed the outdoors and had a burning desire to travel. In July of that year, she jumped at the chance to work on a commercial salmon fishing boat in Craig, Alaska. Abby had only worked at her new job for a couple of weeks before she started having symptoms. She was getting migraines and her eye became irritated and inflamed. Once back on land, she started to really inspect her eye. She noticed the skin looked strange after after she pulled down her eyelid and she searched for an eyelash. When she found nothing online that seemed helpful, she went to the doctor, but he didn't know what it was either. With a closer look, Abby used a mirror and saw something moving. She pulled four parasites from her eye. Her friends and family told her to go to the Oregon Health and Science University in Portland. It was extremely hard for doctors to see how many worms there were since there were so many moving around. Beckley continued to pull the small parasites out on her own at home because the doctors couldn't flush them all out. 20 days after everything started, she fished the last worm out and her nightmare was finally over. The CDC performed tests on the worms and identified them as Thalasia gullosa, a type of eye worm that usually only infects cattle. This was the first ever reported case of these parasites being found in a human eye. Beckley was finally able to get some closure and she says she wouldn't wish this fate on anyone. Number 9. Worst Weave Ever After getting fitted with a human hair weave, a woman started having splitting headaches and the cause was way worse than you would think. In October 2013, a personal assistant from Nairobi, Kenya named Irene Mayango received a human hair weave from a new salon. After two weeks, she started suffering from terrible headaches that painkillers could barely help. The pain was so bad she went to the doctor and had blood tests and brain scans done to find the source. When the test came back negative, she went back to the doctor for a closer examination. To Mayango's surprise, the doctor said the issue was hundreds of small maggots that were eating her skull. The maggots had most likely come from the eggs and the hair that she had purchased. Her doctor said the weave was most likely from a deceased woman, which would explain the infestation. The manager at the salon, who did not wish to be named, reportedly purchased the hair from suppliers in the UK, USA, and India. She said the supplier probably sent rejects from a factory and promised she would take care of all of Mayango's medical expenses. The woman had to shave off her hair and take antibiotics for two weeks just to kill the infection. A surgeon at the hospital she was treated at reported that they had dealt with 10 similar cases just within the last six months. How crazy is that? Number 8. A Man's Worst Nightmare A man from Kensington, London lived through every man's worst nightmare after visiting Africa on his dream vacation in August of 2017. 32-year-old James Michael from England went on a canoeing trip with friends in Southeast Africa, starting in Zambia and ending in Zimbabwe. The group also made a short five-day stop in Malawi when they swam in the lake there before heading back to the UK. A year after returning home, Michael started experiencing some health problems. He started to lose the feeling in his legs and found it difficult to perform simple tasks like walking up the stairs. Turns out the man had unknowingly picked up a parasitic flatworm known as a skittosome and it laid eggs inside his organs. How did he get this flatworm, you might ask? Food? A contaminated water? Nope. The parasites actually like to enter the body through the privates, which is every man's worst nightmare. His doctor prescribed him a medication called Prazanquinel, which could kill the worms. The drug killed the infection, but he was still left debilitated. He was given only a 30% chance of making a full recovery over the next 10 years, and he spent three months in the hospital in a wheelchair. He still has a long journey ahead of him, but at least he escaped with his life. Number 7. Misdiagnosis In 2019, a woman who was close to death after being diagnosed with terminal cancer found something unexpected burrowing deep inside her. 36-year-old Cassidy Armstrong from Alberta, Canada was having pains in the right side of her abdomen for quite some time. Doctors found nothing out of the ordinary after testing, but the woman was having digestive issues and a hard time sleeping. Her symptoms continued to get worse, and she became anemic and lost almost 25 pounds or just over 11 kilograms in a year without even trying. She had pain in her ribs and she feared she had gallstones, so she requested an ultrasound. Doctors delivered the news that they found a huge mass on her liver and she was told she had a fibromyalgia carcinoma, which is a rare liver cancer that appears in people under the age of 40. Armstrong was told that because of the size of the tumor, she might only have a few more years to live. Her physicians wanted to avoid a biopsy since there was a risk of her cancer spreading further, so instead they went straight to surgery in November 2019. They removed two-thirds of her liver, gallbladder, and some nodules on her lungs. Test results came back days later and they discovered a massive tumor on her liver was actually a massive tapeworm. A new diagnosis of avulior echokinosis was given to Armstrong. 
It's a rare disease caused by a tapeworm. She was ready to die, but instead she just had to take an anti-parasite drug for the rest of her life. Number 6. Insane in the Membrane A young man was checked into a hospital after complaining about seizures. It turns out he had a tapeworm infestation in his brain. In March 2019, an 18-year-old man from India was having multiple symptoms like swelling in his right eye, pain in his groin, and seizures before he was taken to the hospital. He was examined by doctors Nishant Dev and S. Zafar Abbas in Faridabad, India. The man was very confused and was having a hard time focusing, so they ordered an MRI to find the cause. Sadly, the scans showed multiple cysts in his cerebral cortex, cerebellum, and brainstem. He had neurocystochrosis, a disease caused by parasites in the brain. The man must have unknowingly swallowed a tapeworm egg. Once the larvae are in the body, they can make their way into the muscle and brain tissues where eventually cysts can form. Doctors didn't use anti-parasitic medications because of the location of the cysts. They feared that the drugs could make the bleeding in the brain worse and possibly blind him. Instead, they used a combination of medicines to help with the inflammation. Unfortunately, things had advanced past the point of return, and the young man died from his infection just two weeks after being admitted to the ER. Have you ever had parasites? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. Number 5. Under My Skin A woman from Russia noticed a small bump under her eye and thought it was a bug biter just to sit, but what it turned out to be was just horrifying. The unnamed 32-year-old Russian woman started to notice the bump on her skin that showed up one day and would be gone the next. It started under her eye, but five days later it reappeared on her eyelid. She started tracking the movement of this mysterious bump as it traveled all over her face. It even showed up in her lip, which caused major swelling and prompted her to see a doctor. After getting examined, she was told the lump was actually a parasite making its home underneath her skin. In order to get rid of it, the physician had to perform a small surgery to pull it out. The the worm was identified as Dilafaria repens, which often spreads through mosquito bites. She claimed the tiny mass appeared after she took a trip to a rural area outside of Moscow where she remembers getting several mosquito bites. These buggers can apparently grow up to 170 millimeters or just under 7 inches, and they can live 8 to 10 years inside the body while releasing millions of larvae into the bloodstream. Disgusting! Number 4. What's that scratching noise? A 27-year-old woman traveled to Peru and came home with unwanted guests living in her ear. In 2013, British woman Rochelle Harris thought she was going crazy. She kept hearing scratching sounds coming from nowhere. She returned from her vacation in Peru and, after a short time, started to have shooting pains down the side of her face, headaches, and unexplained discharge from one ear. She had no idea what was happening, so she decided to visit the doctor. At first, her symptoms were dismissed as nothing but an ear infection, but on further examination by a specialist, they found the culprit, flesh-eating worms. The parasite was identified as larva of the New World screwworm fly. This pest is known to affect livestock, zoo animals, and on very rare occasions, humans, as their host. In order to contract these insects, a pregnant screwworm fly will find an open wound and lay its eggs inside. After 24 hours, the eggs hatch into tiny larvae that feed on living tissue and bodily fluids. Harris picked up these hitchhikers while getting pestered by a swarm of flies while on her trip. One of the flies made their way into her ear, but after she shooed the thing away, she didn't think anything more of it. Although the writhing mass of maggots had chewed a small hole in her ear canal, surgeons were able to remove them with little to no lasting damage. Damage. Number 3. Electric Shocks A French woman found herself in the hospital after experiencing strange tingling sensations running down her legs. She was shocked to find out parasites had made their way into her spine. The 35-year-old woman was having trouble keeping her balance and had multiple falling spells. She felt very weak all the time and was suffering what she described as electric shocks down her legs. She claimed she hadn't left the country recently, but she did have a cat and had come in contact with cows. Further tests were ordered for the woman and they showed that her blood cell count was high, but the truth of the woman's pain was not revealed until after the MRI scan. From the scan, doctors were able to pinpoint a lesion on her ninth vertebra, which is right in the middle of the spine. Upon further investigation, the lesion was actually a tapeworm larva, an infection of the Echinococcus granulosus. The worms are usually found in dogs and farm animals and are known to cause cysts in the liver, lungs, and other vital organs. A person usually doesn't know that they are infected until serious damage has been done and they start to show side effects. Thankfully, after nine months on anti-parasitic medication, the woman was freed of her infestation and didn't suffer any recurring symptoms. Number 2. Speaking Gibberish After calling the police when he started to have unexplained seizures, a man discovered a dead tapeworm had been in his brain for years. In November 2021, a 38-year-old man from Boston was rushed to the hospital after having multiple seizures and speaking gibberish. When he was admitted, doctors were unsure what would be causing
causing the symptoms, since the man had been pretty healthy. He had no past history of seizures, and he did not have any related disorders. After administering medicine to control his tremors, they ran tests to find the cause of his sudden illness. Brain scans showed three lesions, and there was significant swelling in his brain. This led medical professionals to the cause, neurocystercosis, a parasitic infection. This disease is known to cause headaches, seizures, and in serious cases, death. The patient reported moving to the U.S. about 20 years ago from Guatemala, where the infection is quite common. In this man's case, the parasite had been long dead and had been calcified in his brain for one or two decades. Although the worms weren't alive, they had been there so long it caused scarring on his brain, which led to the symptoms. He was treated with anti-parasitic and anti-inflammatory drugs, which seemed to do the trick, and he was discharged five days later. Number 1. Barefoot on the Beach A woman posted on Facebook to document a strange lump on the bottom of her foot. She thought it was a nerve problem, but it was much worse. 31-year-old Nurul Izakatul Akamo had just returned from Port Dixon Beach, where she began noticing a strange squiggly line on the sole of her foot. She brushed it off at first, thinking it was just a blister from her slippers. But as the days went on, her foot started to swell. She visited a masseuse that confirmed it was most likely a nerve issue, but she was dead wrong. Her foot became itchy, and she noticed the lump was growing. It even seemed like it was pulsating. She could feel something moving in her foot at night as if something was dancing around in it. After consulting with her doctor, they determined a worm had burrowed into her skin. The hookworm infection is known as a cutaneous larva migrans, and she had apparently picked it up at a Malaysian beach she visited while walking barefoot. These worms are as thin as a thread and don't need broken skin or even an open wound to enter a person's body. The parasites are common on beaches thanks to animal feces from dogs and cats. After three doses of the medicine she was prescribed, she could no longer feel the worm moving and she made a full recovery. Which parasite are you most scared of getting? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Bad Badger.